take it inside the greenhouse and put it on the highest shelf. Okay, I can do that. Listen, I didn't... I'm sorry? No! What's up guys and welcome back to Virtual Virtual Reality. Now as many of you guys know, I have played a lot of very good VR games on this channel, but I don't think I've ever been so excited for one as this one. Honestly, the mystery subplot that they have behind the scenes of this game it just has me so on board with turning this into a series. So for today's episode, I decided to return to my good friend slash robot kidnapper Chaz to do a, a job or 10. Chaz, would you be so kind as to explain to the people at home what we're doing here exactly? Hi, B. You know, Activitude's clients want different things in life. Freedom, control. This next client wants to relive a special moment. A special moment, huh? Okay. Chaz, my mother was a smart woman. She always told me, don't put anything on your face that comes from the crotch of strangers. Then again, I guess we're not strangers, right? So how about we just bring it in and go to uh, the memory worth reliving? What kind of memory is this? It's just a grungy city. Welcome, human. Hello? Oh, I forgot how small. Hello? From down there, Ooh. you won't be able to fully appreciate my sprawl. Forgive me. I only remember you in mass as a swarm pacing and flitting everywhere. No. Go back to Chaz and insist on a size that can truly appreciate me. Big enough for your mom to appreciate. Really, it just wouldn't be the way I remember. Take off your headset and tell Chaz this isn't working. Is this because I called you grungy? Excuse me, giant sentient city lady. I, I really can't go back to Chaz with a bad review. Butter already just completely ruined me, so maybe we could just go make... Go away. Okay, you know what? When the giant sentient city tells you to go away, you go You're away. You're awfully early. What are you doing back already? Didn't go well, giant bitch city. Oh, okay. You've been reported as proportionally incorrect. <laughs> well, that's easy to fix. This is a new client, so let's let them have their quaint misunderstandings. Ooh, whoa, whoa, okay. <sighs> you try to raise them right, and then they grow up so fast. Ooh. Ah, uh, yes. That's more like it. Now you can see everything the way I see it. Connected. Explore my streets. Try to imagine what it was like. All the humans living in me. Living their lives. It's so strange. Humans know when they gather together that they begin to behave like a single organism. A city has rhythms like a body has rhythms. The human body needs food in the morning. The city makes and receives deliveries in the morning. The electrical grid keeps the city beating, churning, breathing. I was that grid. Without me, the human is adrift on the wind, floating like a balloon. I remember one day, my favorite day, it was a parade. You were all cheering and walking and waving. I kept time by rerouting the streetlights and the traffic. Ah, to bring order to the noise of it. I imagine that a single human in a crowd hears the echo of its own voice against the din of the crowd. But for me, for the city, the press of the crowd and the cheering was like, well, if you can, imagine meeting another human made out of pennies, all rattling and changing and shimmering. Money has such a distinctive sound when it moves against itself. A couple pennies shine and jingle, but all those humans together, the brightness and the wonderful noise becomes a language. How that creature made of pennies communicates. No. No, I can't explain it to you who haven't seen it. How can you understand? 
You who are not burdened with an ultimatum towards order, can you imagine what I would give to witness that slice of freedom? But that day, the parade, a surprise, a balloon got away. It wasn't a little balloon. It was a great, giant character balloon. It's toast! It went up and up, bobbing between the buildings. My buildings. Warm yourself in the sun. I watched it float away and felt a piece of myself suddenly, gently, float away. How wonderful. After all that planning, after all that care and caution, how helpless I was. How beautiful. Well, some wonderful chaos, like the good old days. Not all the balloons are gone, but enough. Just a dash like my favorite day. I'm glad we could share this experience together. Me too. Thank you. And stay well. That's good job, B. Ooh. You finished. I bet you were just bulging with nostalgia. I read somewhere that both relaxation and stimulation equates to productivity. Lucky you. Now you can have both in one handy employee zone. Do you want to relax with a mojito on a sandy beach? Yes. No problem. Do you want some me time? Try our guided meditation. Simply flip the floor to change zones and treat yourself. That's kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie, I appreciate this. Thank you very much. You're adding a new toy to my cage. I think this one moonlights as a politician or the head of a massive global company. I can't remember. I do know he's one of our more important clients and this is how he blows off steam. He calls himself Mr. Sprinkles, but I think his real name is something like Global Recruitment Office Properties Executive. Something like that anyway. Watch your back. I mean, good luck. I mean, eh. I don't really want to become a prostitute for some guy named Mr. Sprinkles. So I guess that technically did count as a job, right? I didn't have to do anything. I just needed to accompany the city. She wanted to, to share a memory with somebody. And I got a five-star review, The Grid. I remember it like it was yesterday. It was so nice to have company, to have someone to talk to and to see what I felt from the way I saw things for once. Someone to set the balloons free and play the part of chance. It's amazing how we see ourselves as rational and in control, but we see others as agents of fate come to liberate or punish us with unforeseeable consequences. Like, that's just, it's so random. I would have never expected to experience something like that. And now, I, again, I have no idea what's coming out of your crotch. So how about we give this thing a try? I'm going to move on to lunch, apparently. He said something about snack attack, but I, they don't seem all that aggressive. They're, they're kind of docile. Yeah, this isn't so bad. Ooh. Okay. Now we're talking, why does this fridge have a face on it? It's not a fridge, is it? What is this? Oh, it's a vending machine. But think about your dental hygiene. Oh, I'm starting to see what he meant by dental hygiene. I'm not drinking it, I'm eating the can. Yeah, you know what, That you're right. That probably isn't good for people like me. Okay, you know what? I think I'm just gonna leave the lunch area for now. Back to work. Let's see what this one has to offer. Well, this is very different. Kind of serene. I like this. Hello? I just heard a voice try to find me. Are you taking a poop? Mr. Sprinkle's special place. <laughs> I completely forgot that's what this job was. Uh, Mr. Sprinkles. I bet you can't guess where I am. Guess, guess, pick me right up. Guess, 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 pick me right up, guess. Come on. I can't even guess what you are. <laughs> it sounds like he's coming from over here, but... It's really <laughs> difficult to tell. Are you this? No, definitely not me. You're not a pot. Look closer. Closer, huh? <laughs> Are you inside this thing? 
Are you the frog? Ah. Try someone else. Whoa. It's like he's invisible. Oh, how green. How luscious. Well, I'm not green. Try again. Not green. Okay, now we... Now we have a hint? I'm so confused right now. I'm not that guy. I'm in the bucket. Yeah, I gathered that much considering you're sparkling and moving. Hey, hey. Where'd he go? Oh, you like to move around, do you? Uh, I can't even go through the glass. Okay, hold on. I'm coming. Gotcha. There we go. Whisper on me. Whisper so hard. I begin to flutter. Breeze. That's kind of kinky. I don't really want to blow on you. Maybe I could just move you around? Is that good enough? What if I do something like this? There we go. Better? Okay, okay. You had enough? Let's get serious. Okay. It's time to play garden. That's serious? The dirt pile inside the red wheelbarrow. Dirt pile inside the red wheelbarrow. I am terribly confused I right now. I think I've had enough whisper time. No, you Find can... me in the wheelbarrow. No, never too much whisper time. You just get to go for another ride. There we go. I have located the dirt in the red wheelbarrow. This garden is my treasure. Water them. Water them with a the watering can. Not too much and not too little. Every flower should get equal treatment. Okay. Yes, this is good. This is good. Soon we'll have... Oh, yes. Do the carrots. Definitely do the carrots. Beautiful blooms. Flowers are very healing. Sometimes it helps if you get real close to the plants and whisper like the wind. Wee, wee! Stop! Stop watering! Ooh! What do they do? What is that? Oh, it's beautiful! The way the petals ripple in the breeze. I think I hear it whispering to me. Going to yes, pluck it? Yes! 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 Oh, yes! Yes. I'm gonna pluck it. Place him in a pot to keep him safe. Oh. Enshrine him in a pot of honor. They're really loud. They're like, they're super loud. They're almost as loud as you. You haven't stopped talking the whole time I was watering. How do you do this normally? You don't have Place arms. Him in a pot to keep him safe. Okay, okay, a pot, a pot. Uh, the only pot that I've seen I broke and, and I put on the ground. Oh, there's lots of pots over there. Hold on. Okay, and skaboosh. Gently, gently now. Okay, all right. Let's put it somewhere where the worms can't get to it. Take it inside the greenhouse and put it on the highest shelf. Okay, I can do that. Listen, I didn't... I'm sorry? My soul. My... <laughs> no! What was so difficult about this job? See, I can balance this pot on my head. And I'm not even one of Activitude's specially trained temporary labor human agents. This was a big disappointment, B. A major mark against your overall happy customer service rating. Oh, you're kidding me! It was an easy job! How did I screw up? Okay, what's coming this next? This client is very refined. A knowledge of fine wines is recommended. Or, if you don't know about fine wines, try faking it. Do okay. treat him delicately. He has a certain... Je ne sais quoi. Faking it, I can do. Oh my god. Like, I teleported with a thing in my hand, teleported next to the building, and I just smashed it into pieces, and I think I devastated that pinwheel. <laughs> this is bogus. Ugh, I'm almost afraid to ask, but how did I do? Oh, come on. <laughs> ah! Damn you, sprinkle tooth! Just grow another loud, annoying pinwheel plant, okay? You know that wasn't my fault, Chaz, okay? That was a uh, teleportation malfunction. That's something that, uh, Activia. A Activision? Activitude! That's something Activitude should cover, right? You guys have insurance for that kind of thing, I'm sure. I've already gotten five stars today. That one star is clearly an outlier, so I'm gonna prove it to you by going ahead and uh, get myself another. Five star. Ooh. This is very nice. It's a nice day today, don't you think? That's what I was saying. We're going to get a great sunset. That's why I invited you here to appreciate the sunset. 
boat is talking to me. Standard issue activitude controller in your hand. I do too. Put it down. That's it. Let it rest a moment. Let yourself rest. But oh, wait. I I need these to to do Go stuff. On. Put it down. Oh, okay, okay. I'll just I'll, I'll, I'll put them put All down. The interaction there we go. They're in the sand. Happens in the mind. I feel naked. It's, it's weird. The, colors. the delicate blush of pinks rustling like silk organza. The sheen of warm toned golds. What's this? A whisper of chartreuse dances on the horizon. Why the sun is so beautiful. It almost looks like you could reach out and touch it. It's important to appreciate the sunset. It's important to stop and remind yourself, hey, the world is a pretty great place to be. The sun loves you. Did you know that? It does. That's why your happy customer service rating depends on your ability to really open up to the beauty of the sunset. Really? Imagine your body is like a big sunflower, and you're turning all your sides to bask in its beautiful glow. Imagine that it rained yesterday, and your stalk is flush with nutrients. Now bask. Bask in the sun's beauty like a big flower. Am I doing Isn't good? Is this what humans go on about and climb up to high elevations or empty vistas, gesture ambiguously, and say things like, Ah, well, would you look at that? Ah, oh, would you look at that? Let it all go. What does the sunset remind you of? Me? The clouds up there remind me of fluffy little islands in the ocean. An ocean in the sky. Is it kind of jagged? Well, there it goes. The sun below the horizon. Blip. Like that. Like life itself, perhaps. So important to appreciate it. That's why I always hire you temporary labor human agents. Each appreciates in their own way. Now, I know this isn't a real sunset. In fact, it's a holographic projection. That's what's great about holographic projections, you know, just replay it. That way if you miss it, or didn't appreciate it quite enough, you can try again. It's kind of cool. You're a well, really pretentious boat. You, of course. We've seen the last of each other, probably. I hope you're fulfilled. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Oh, jeez. Can you give this me some really warning? Convenient. Look at the stack of complaints. Each one is just... This is bad. Butter's still deeply mourning your mishandling. And Pinwheel. Pinwheel loved that flower. Like a lot. Like a lot a lot. I know, okay? I'm sorry. I know it was an accident. Yes. I know you're not naturally inclined towards the destruction of verdant beauty. He you does care. know. I see that in you. I'm just... I'm disappointed. I don't want to see this kind of display again. I want 100%. I want five stars. I want clients begging to have you back for more. What okay? about the city? You didn't say anything about the city. The city gave me five stars. Don't walk away from me like an idiot. That boat should be pretty freaking happy too. I dealt with his Between pretentious ramblings. Me, this one is my favorite. I'd jump in and take this client myself. That wasn't unseemly for a CEO slash COO to do. He's the rootinest, tootinest client we have. Do you like to mosey? Or ramble? Or even Russell? Then buckle up, partner. So are you the COO of this place? That's weird. Can I have my hands back now? I kind of need to read my reviews, so if you could just get your stupid tin can looking self out of my way, I would really appreciate that. There we go. You can go all the way over there. Just give me a minute, okay? You mosey on back, taking your time. Now, boat. How do you... Three stars? How? The temporary labor human agent was just great. When I said appreciate the sunset, they did so to the best of their human ability. They sat there and didn't do anything. Just like I asked. I believe they had a truly human experience and I'm happy I was able to facilitate that. That's such a perfect review. How is that three out of five? Tell me wobbly legs. Should I have done something with my hands? C could that have gone better? I don't know if these could actually get five stars, four, three, two, one. Like, could things have been different? 
could I have not broken the plant? Because you had a pretty good scripted line as if I was doomed to break it. But at the same time, I, I, I just, I don't know. You know what? I think that's going to be it for this episode of Virtual Virtual Reality, guys. And I am still super impressed with this game, okay? My opinion has not changed after this episode, even though I feel like I got screwed over pretty freaking hard with some of those reviews. And strangely enough, we didn't get any word from the human underground resistance whatever is going on there I i'm sure we will eventually because that's what's interesting me most i'm really curious how they're gonna pop up again thanks so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next time